Welcome to the Imperium channel, everyone. Today we shall speak of the sack of the Eternal City in the 4th century by the mighty Gauls. As always before we dive into this, let's speak about these peoples from the north, the Gauls are a tribal society living in Gaul, mostly nowadays France. It's a graceful land with its endless plains and green fields beyond the Alps. Seems like a beautiful and quiet place to live, but no, this land it's home to some of the most fierce warriors in Bronze Age Europe, that dedicate their summer time raiding neighbors to get more wealth and resources for its tribe. In time the Gauls started migrating south under the leadership of King Brennus and they raided some towns in the north of the peninsula, and eventually one of these towns called Clusium sent a message for help the Romans. And the Romans marched north to meet the Gauls head on. After 80 days of marching the two armies came in sight of each other and prepared for battle, a battle that would be remembered in history as the Battle of Allia. The Romans make a stand by the Allia River, sources claim that the battle formation was very stretched and the Roman center was weak. Their right wing was mostly made of new recruits with no experience on a hill, and their best forces on the left. Then the Gauls charge the Roman lines with fury throwing their javelins as they run towards them and as soon as the lines collide it is said that the Gauls had no trouble breaking the Roman spears. The right wing on the hill is pushed down by the crushing charge, the left flank is trapped between the Gauls and the river and the Roman center gets smashed and routes because it was too wide to absorb the impact of the charge and the Romans get flanked. On both wings, on the left wing the Romans noticing they were doomed tried to swim across the Tiber River. Most died on the attempt, but the rest fled to a nearby city while the right wing almost at the same time broke formation and ran back to Rome. The Gauls pursued the Romans after the battle and came in sight of Rome and its walls unguarded. The Romans decided to leave the outer walls. There's a story of an attempted sneak attack on the capital in a certain wall that the Roman guard was sleeping and they were saved by a goose. This goose alerted the Romans which allowed them to repel the attackers. After seven months attrition hits both sides and they decided to have negotiations. The Romans declared they were willing to pay 500 kilograms of gold and the Gauls protested. Then a Roman asked a reasonable explanation and the King Brennus laughed and placed its sword on top of the balance and said, Ve victis which means, woe to the vanquished, but then Cumelius entered the scene removed the gold and ordered the Gauls to leave. A skirmish installed between both sides but after a while Brennus decided to leave Rome, the Eternal City was humiliated and sacked but Rome never forgets and never forgives.